Driving through the Jura region in his coach, Daniel is glued to the radio. There's breaking news. France is trying to reform its pension system. The 59-year-old former cattle breeder suffered an injury which severely damaged his back and forced him to sell the farm he inherited from his parents. Daniel traded his herd for school children and became a coach driver. In order to receive a full pension, he decided to continue working. In France, you can retire at 62, in some cases even at 60. The proposed reform will not change that, but it will affect how long people make pension contributions. I think in time we will have to extend our working lives, so it will extend the contribution period. But we must also recognize that in general terms we have lived over and above our means. We, the French, the state, of course, we must reduce our lifestyle. Some unions are fighting against reform. To appease them, the government has promised to take into account some people's hardships. Some will be entitled to early retirement, but other people will have to continue to pay contributions, an idea the Workers' Force Union doesn't agree with. One of the proposals we completely disagree with is the move to extend the contribution period to 43 years for people born since 1973 in order to have a full pension. So taking into account the average age they entered the job market, these people will not retire before they're 67. The rumblings of France's social movement are getting louder and underlying tensions are again on the rise. But company bosses are also up in arms. The reforms are being coupled with a rise in employer contributions, and one employer's union believes making people work longer is the best way to wipe out France's deficit. I say we have to watch out. In 1960, there were four workers for every retired person. Now there are 1.7 active for every retiree. Today, it's 62. Maybe we should consider 63, 64, 65. And maybe it will go up to 67 years. Tomorrow, we need to increase the retirement age. Otherwise, it's the end of pension schemes. So what can France do to kickstart its economy and create jobs? Let's return to the Jura region to meet Carol, Maxime and Julian, three young colleagues of Daniel's. To fight against youth unemployment, save jobs for experienced people like Daniel and widen its contribution pool, the French government has just created a new measure known as the Contract of Generations. The Contract of Generations is a deal which allows young people to be recruited while keeping senior employees in the company. I studied for a qualification while working in the company and this summer the Contract of Generations started, so it was a super opportunity. It lets young people like us sign a permanent contract, so it's very reassuring for the future. It's true that we're often offered casual or short-term contracts, so to be given a permanent contract is really interesting for young people like us. For me, as a senior employee, it's encouraging to see young people investing. Time will tell if the contract of generations is worthwhile or not. According to some trade unions, it's the employers who should be paying for the pension reforms, not the workers. France's CGT union believes the European Commission is forcing France to tighten its belt. Are we in a Europe where everything must be done to increase a firm's turnover, boost bonuses and reduce public debt, and I don't know what else? Or do we have a concept of Europe where social improvements for workers are significant? That's what I'd ask the European Commission. Frankly, a country that doesn't take care of its enterprises doesn't take care of its economy. And if the economy isn't healthy, the country won't be doing well either. Back to Daniel and his young colleagues. What do they think about this debate? Are France's European partners right or wrong to insist on the need to extend the retirement age? It's true, it's a stressful profession, so I think I'll stop working at 62. That'll be enough. 
I agree. I'd love to retire at 62 because you have time to enjoy life and leave room for the young. I agree with you in relation to the retirement age, but I'm starting to be a little more pessimistic. It's starting to go up and up. And it's true, sometimes it's a little bit worrying. I suffered a lot during my agricultural career before I changed job to become a bus driver. I think 62 is a good age to retire. In a nearby furniture factory, we meet Denis and Simon. They too have signed a contract of generations. Denis blames France's 35-hour working week for being behind the country's pension woes. My generation worked a lot. In the beginning of our career, we did 55 or 65 hours per week. That's no longer the case today. That's a pity. Because less contributions are paid into the pension scheme funds. In 40 years' time, or even before, compulsory pension schemes won't exist anymore. Everyone will go for private retirement schemes. That's the best way. In Lyon, we meet Jacques Bichot, a retired university professor. Bichot's published several books on social welfare and is a leading expert on pension schemes. We need to reform the whole system, unify all the pension schemes we have in France, three dozen today, which cost us quite a lot, this way of managing multiple schemes in parallel. We could save three billion euros on administrative costs by melting those schemes into one single scheme. Moderate unions such as the CFDT like this idea. Without reforming the system, the pension scheme deficit will rise up to 21 billion euros in 2020. France could learn from some of its neighbours, not from all of them, because they're able to launch long-term reforms. The CFDT too proposes such a long-term approach. The different pension schemes should converge by 2025 or 2030. The small Augier family business in Brignes produces sheet metal. Gérard and Valentin signed a contract of generations too. They're a good team of welders, but they do not agree on the retirement age question. Personally, I think I'll be able to retire at the age of 60. I started work at 16, so I've been contributing to the pension system for a long time. Based on the government's decision in force, I have the right to retire at 60. If I have to work until 62 or 65 and that allows me to have a full pension, that's no problem for me. France hopes to push through its reforms by the end of the year, extending the contribution period from 40 to 43 years. But its retirement age of 62 will go unchanged unlike most other European states which are extending working lives until 65 or even 68.